More women come forward alleging problems at the West Virginia State Police Academy. And the DOH gives an update on some major road projects in the Ohio Valley. 7 News anchor Catherine Guyon has a look back at the week's top stories. West Virginia State Police were given another notice of legal action this week from 42 women who claimed there were more problems than just hidden cameras in the locker room at the State Police Academy. Attorney Teresa Torreseva calls the environment hostile and says her investigation into the hidden cameras also found reports of sexual misconduct, improper sexual relationships with instructors, and even physical assault. The notice filed this week alleges a civil conspiracy. Torreseva feels that the hidden cameras in the women's locker room were part of a bigger problem. So many of the things that we're uncovering are stories that are being heard for the first time because there was a fear of reporting and there was also a fear of losing your entire career if, if you reported. Ten of the women included in this legal action were minors who attended the Junior Trooper Academy. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice made it official after months of speculation. He is running for U.S. Senate. The two-term governor says he wants to continue his fight for the Mountain State. His platform includes an America First agenda, defending energy jobs, and securing the southern border. How in the world do you think we're perceived with our allies? I mean, look what happened in Afghanistan. Look what's going on at the border. Look what's going on with inflation. Look what's going on with energy. It's just all over the park. The current seat is held by Democrat Joe Manchin. Congressman Alex Mooney has also filed to run for U.S. Senate. Certain parts of the Ohio Valley are just wall-to-wall -wall construction zones, which means everyone wants to know when will it be done. West Virginia Department of Transportation District Engineer Tony Clark gave 7 News a few updates. The downtown Wheeling Streetscape project is on track to finish in 2024. Right now, crews are replacing sidewalks and working with storm sewers. Painting of the I-470 bridges in Elm Grove is progressing, but the completion is not expected until the middle of next year. And the Wheeling Suspension Bridge should finish up in July, but there still is not an answer of if vehicles will ever be able to go across it again. Form Energy is only weeks away from starting construction on an iron air battery manufacturing facility in Weirton, so they held an open house to get to know the community. The company's top officials met with residents to answer questions about the project. Form Energy also hopes to recruit plenty of people from the area to fill the expected 750 jobs the facility will provide, many of which will not require a college degree. We come from Sacramento, we're the Sacramento Kings. It's 2023, it's time to let the beam. And finally, from the Ohio Valley to Sacramento, local band Zane Run is now linked with the Kings during their NBA playoff run. The band created the song Light the Beam just for the team. The Kings loved it, and it's now being played at home games in Sacramento as a hype song. Zane Run says that's not the only new music they're working on. The Ohio Valley can expect new songs later this year. And remember, for the latest headlines any time of the week, just visit WTRF.com. I'm Katherine Guyon, working for you.